all right guys welcome back in this section what i want to do is work on this agent the agent isn't looking good some agent may have the same name two or more agent may have the same name and that is not required agent to fix this i'll edit the doc type go to the agent doc type open it click on open i mean okay it's open now the first thing i want to do is change this agent name remove this agent name as a field name it's not really not good because so if several agents will have the same name the best thing to you do is use the agent's email as the primary keyboard at the same time i can have a kind of naming convention for the agent the best thing to do is use this format Okay, here I'll have something like call it agent or property property or just use agent ag agent uh, property the date it was added which is um I could say year year month month the month it was added and a serial number would be used for the um one two three four this means it's gonna generate a serial number um or a naming conversion that we start with agents property ag a PR dash year, this is 21 dash month, this is 04 and four digit number after that. Then, okay, no need for any of this. One more thing this email, I'm gonna drag this email to the top, then make the email searchable, searchable, standard filter. And no need, no need for global search. I will have it in standard filter. The standard filter, I will show you what standard filter is. Um, I mean, use this is a standard filter. That's what it says. Okay. And uh, what's more? Display in filter. Yeah, the thing this is all right, save. Okay, you may encounter this error, invalid field name, AG. The error is from this, it should not be field, it should be format, format, not field. Replace this field. Hold on, save once more. Beautiful, set. Can go to the agent list. Open agent one. And you observe that the standard filter, you have the name and the email in the standard filter. You can search agent by email or by name. I'll save this agent again to see if there will be a change in this name. And the page refreshed. The document remains the same. I will add to this phone number so it will save. And what have we here? I will search by this um, agent one. 
Okay. <clears throat> Want to do something here? Go to the bench. Maria DB, go to the database and search for the agents. I want to see what we have in the database. Select Asterix from tab agents. We have just two agents, and that should be okay. We have name, the naming convention did not change, and this did not change as well. I could use a patch to change this, but I wouldn't do that for the now. I'll just add a new agent to the system Q to exit and exit. Duplicate. This copies over the previous data into a new table that is not existent in database. Agent John. There's John and save. Let's see how the naming convention goes. You can see this AG PR 21, the year 04 and 0005. The system automatically gives it a number, but it should go sequentially. I do not know why we have five here, but either I have visited an agent before or something, but this is how we'll get. It's working. You can go back to the database, run the query again, agent. And here you see you see the name. So this build this is okay because you can use this for reference rather than using the name. Okay, after we have done this, what next can we do? We have form scripting or a form control from doc type from editing doc type. I'll go back to my doc type. For instance, in this property doc type, I'll change this agent. Save. How about after adding this agent, how about changing this agent to such that when I drop in this number, select this agent's code. It will show me the agent's email below here, or not the email, the agent name here. How do we do that automatically without using custom scripts? You can do it directly inside the agent's property doc type. Sorry, the agent's doc type. That should not be in the agent, it should be in the property. We'll add more fuel to the property, to the yeah, property doc type. property here go down to agent yeah this is agent i want i will add below insert below agent name I want the agent name should be of type data or okay i'll make it data first then it should be invincible. Invincible that it should not show up until an agent has been selected. That would be depends on what agent. Then fetch from what agent dot agent name. Fetch if empty. We'll see how this works when I save. Save. Successfully saved. Next, reload the property doc type. Now you see the doc type has reloaded successfully. You see the agent, you see the agent name. And this automatically should, okay. What I will do here is remove this, remove these agents. Once I save, you see the agent name is hidden because in the agent field in this property doc type, I said agents. I said depends on agents, meaning that if the agent field is empty, it will be blank. 
it will it, it will be hidden i mean then if agent is selected it will automatically go into the agent and pick the agent's name automatically that's what that means and fetch it empty if it is empty before it will automatically fetch it for you now i'm gonna select an agent um sorry from the property select this and you see automatically fetch the agent name for us agent john that is why in erp next you notice that observe that when you select some things you automatically see some fields fields a uh, field it shows up with contents in them okay how about i make this how about i make this uh, uneditable go back this agent i could make it a read only field read only save reload now you see this is what read only can no longer be edited by changes to the next it automatically changes to this read only so that's just about it for the now um we save this as this and save beautiful that's just about it then one more thing when i edited this agent i talked about from this agent um i said in standard filter go back this is the standard filter you can search for agent from this standard filter right test and enter it shows any agent with test okay let's see the uh, john at yahoo no agent with search parameter or search email for the name you can also filter by name henry no search agent with henry what about agents there yeah, are two agents with okay so here we have something that is really going on and that's just about it for easily working with doc types next we will move on to custom scripting but as we move on to custom scripting we'll still kind of add more fields to this document type as we progress okay thanks for watching and hope you enjoy it please click like and subscribe